Okay, um, just using your substitution booklet, we're just going to work through these um, questions here on the front. Now remember A and B are pronumerals and they stand for, they are in place of numbers. So if this is just saying if you add two numbers, A plus B, whatever, uh, remember A will um, in this case stand for 6 and B is equal to 2. So really what we're asking here is, is 6 plus 2 equal to B plus A, which is 2 plus 6? So all that this is doing, we're doing sub we're substituting. So a plus b, let's work out what a plus b is. a plus b is 6 plus 2, which is 8. And let's work out what b plus a is. b plus a, b is 2, and a is 6. b plus a is also 8, so therefore a plus b is equal to b plus a. Okay, so the answer is yes. Okay, in the next one, this is still addition. So what this first one is saying, it doesn't matter the order in which you add two numbers um, up in, um, you'll get the same answer. So this one we're using brackets. So let's look at our left-hand side, A plus B plus C. So A is 6 plus B is 2 in brackets, then plus C, we know that C is 3. So let's work out what that is. So we have to do, with order of operations, we need to do the brackets first. So 6 plus 2 is 8, plus 3 is 11. And on the other side, we've got A plus bracket B plus C. So A is 6 plus bracket. So we rewrite it, just substituting in the numbers exactly where they are. B is 2 and C is 3. So it's saying, well... Um, we have to do order of operations again, so we must do the brackets first. So 6 plus, now 2 plus 3 is 5, 6 plus 5 is 11. So we do get the same answer, so the answer is yes, that A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C. So what this is saying is if we're adding three numbers in a row. Does it matter if I add two of them first and then add the third one? Or can I add the last two numbers together and then add the first one? And we got our answer was 11 for both, so the order in which you add numbers does not matter. Now in the next one, we're seeing whether 2a plus 1 is equal to 2 bracket a plus 1. Let's look at our first left hand side, 2a plus 1. That's the same as 2 times a. Remember, there's always a symbol between a numeral, a number, and a pronumeral. And 2a is the same as 2 times a plus 1. So it's 2 times 6. a is 6 plus 1. Now 2 times 6 is 12. Plus 1 is 13. Remember your order of operations. You must do your multiplication before your addition or subtraction. Let's look at the right hand side, 2 bracket a plus 1. So let's rewrite it, substituting exactly where we see our numbers, uh, our letters, sorry. So a is 6, so we've got 2 brackets, 6 plus 1. But what does this bracket here mean? It really means we've got a multiplication symbol. 2 bracket 6 plus 1 means 2 times. So there's really a times in there. So we have to do the brackets first, so 6 plus 1 is 7, so this is 2 times 7, which is 14. So therefore, the answer is no, that 2, 2a plus 1 does not equal, so we go, put an equal sign but with a cross through it, that means does not equal 2 bracket a plus 1. So I'll just put the no here, they're not equal. And the way we write that mathematically is we say 2a plus 1 does not equal 2 bracket a plus 1. Now the next one, multiplying numbers. Does a times b equal b times a? Well, let's look at what a times b is. a times b is a is 6, b is 2, it's 6 times 2, which is 12. And b times a, b is 2, and a is 6. That's 2 times 6, which is 12. The answer is yes, a times b does equal b times a. All that means is when you multiply two numbers, does it matter if you do 6 times 2 or 2 times 6? Well, no, it doesn't matter. So therefore, when you're multiplying two numbers, the order in which you multiply does not matter. Now looking at the next one. If we, this is, we're really multiplying A, B and C, but we want to multiply A and B first, and then whatever answer we get, we're going to multiply that by C. So let's look at this first one here. We're going to do this side, A times B plus C. 
Well, a is 6, so we have to write this exactly as it is, just replacing our pronumerals with, um, with the numbers. So a is 6 with their value, sorry. b is 2 times c is 3. So order of operations must do the brackets first. So 6 times 2 is 12. 12 times 3 is 36. Let's look at this other side, a times b times c. What does a equal? It equals 6 times b times c is 2 times 3. So that's 6 times, 2 times 3 is 6. So it's 6 times 6 is 36. So yes, they're equal. So therefore, so this is a therefore, I can say a times b times c equals a times b times c. In other words, if you're multiplying three numbers, it doesn't matter whether you multiply the, the first two numbers together and then multiply by the third number, or you can multiply the last two numbers together, get an answer, and then multiply by the first number. You will get the same answer. So how would you know which one to do in an ordinary situation? If it's easier to multiply the first two numbers, you would multiply those together and then multiply by the third number, or if it's easier to multiply the, the last two numbers, you would multiply those and then multiply by the first number. Now, okay, the next one. Does A divided by BC equal A over BC and A divided by B times C? So let's have a look at that. So we've got A divided by BC. Now that means A divided by B times C. Now I have to do that B times C first because the BC here are joined. So that must be, it's A divided by all of this BC, which means B times C. So I've got A is 6 divided by B times C is B, uh, 2 times 3. So it's 6 divided by 2 times 3 is 6. Remember, order of operations, which is 1. Now, is that the same as A over BC? So A over BC. A is 6 over BC means, sorry, actually I'm going to rewrite this, that's A over BC means B times C. So A is 6, B is 2, and C is 3. So you must, you can't go dividing until you multiply these two numbers on the denominator. 2 times 3 is 6, so now it becomes 6 divided by 6 is 1. So those two are the same. And the last one, A divided by B times C, well that's exactly what we've got up on this first one, which is 6 divided by 2 times 3. 6 divided by 6, which is 1, so the answer is yes, they are all equal to each other. Now for the last one. Does A divided by BC equal A divided by B times C and A divided by B times C? So let's look at the first one. A divided by BC. That means A divided by B times C. But this BC here is one thing, so you have to work it out first. It's B times C. So we've got 6 divided by 2 times 3 is 6 divided by 6, which is 1. Now let's look at the second one, A divided by B times C. Now when you have division and multiplication, you must do it in order, unless you've got brackets, or unless here, for example, it's BC, which implies that that has to be done first. So 6 divided by 2 times 3, you must do it in that order. Now 6 divided by 2 is 3 times 3 is 9. So we can see our answers are not the same. And the last one, A over B times C, is A over B, which is 2, times C, which is 3. 6 divided by 2 is 3, times 3. So you must do that first. 6 divided by 2 is 3, times 3, which is 9. So therefore, um, even though these last two are the same, the last two are the same, but the first one does not equal the other two. Okay, um, if you can just go to the top of the page. I did miss one out that I did want to do. So can we check, um, I'll call this question zero. Does A minus B equal B minus A? 
So, in other words, oh no, I'll call it question 8, okay? Does A minus B equal B minus A? Well, let's check with our, um, with the numbers that we've got. Now, A, A minus B is 6 minus 2, which is 4. And B minus A is 2 minus 6, which is negative 4. So what this is telling us is that the order in which you subtract numbers does make a big difference. 6 minus 2 is 4. That's different to 2 take away 6 is negative 4. So the answer is no. And writing that mathematically, we can say, therefore, A minus B does not equal B minus A. In other words, the order in which you subtract numbers is very important. The next thing I want you to look at over the page is this substitution one worksheet. And I'm just going to look at maybe just um, the last two questions here. For example, um, now they're all guided. They guide you. So X divided by Y here is X over Y which is 5, so x is 5, sorry, y is 4, so x is 5, y is 4, so they've, you know, given you some help here and you just have to fill in the blanks. 3x divided by 4y is 3x over 4y. Now 3x means 3 times x over 4 times y. So we know that x is 5, y is 4, so that's 3 times 5 over 4 times 4. 3 times 5 is 15, 4 times 4 is 16. And that's how you do those. So just um, I want you to finish that worksheet off. Okay, just did a couple of examples there for you. Then we've got substitution 2 over here. Okay, just says here that 5 bracket m minus 4 means 5 times m minus 4. And we've done that before. So 3 bracket a plus 7 is 3 times a plus 7, etc. 4 bracket b minus 9 is 4 times b minus 9, etc. Now we're going to go over the page and do some examples with this. So over the page, where um, x equals 8 and y equals 2, we're substituting those into each of these expressions. I'm just going to choose a couple of questions here to do, and then you can finish them off. Now 3 bracket x plus y means 3 times x plus y. So that means 3 times, we know that x is 8, 3 times 8 plus y is 2. So it's 3 times, now brackets must be done first, 8 plus 2 is 10, so it's 3 times 10, which is 30. Um, with all these, just do, this, do it the same way. We'll just have a quick look at um, this one here, 5x bracket 7 minus y. 5x means 5 times x, and between that x and the bracket there is another times. So now let's just substitute. So that means 5 times x times 7 minus y is 2, okay, so so be careful, times should be straight, x's are curly, like italics, 5 times x, now x is 8, so it's 5 times 8, times 7 minus 2 is 5, so 5 times 8 is 40, times 5, now 4 times 5 is 20, so 40 times 5 is 200, we'll just do another 2, okay, Let's look at this one. 40 over x bracket y plus 6. Now that's 40 over x. Um, let's just substitute what they are, actually. x is 8. x is 8. y is 2. So x is 8. So 40 divided by 8 bracket y is 2. 2 plus 6. Now 40 divided by 8 is 5. Now remember there's a time symbol here. Times. Inside the brackets, 2 plus 6 is 8. So this is 5 times 8, which is 40. And I'll just do one of these, say this one here. x take away 5, bracket x plus 3. x is 8. So we've got 8 take away 5. In between the two brackets, we have a multiplication symbol. So it's times. Um, x again is 8. So we've got 8 minus 5 times 8 plus 3. So 8 take away 5 is 3 times 8 plus 3 is 11. And the answer to that is 33. And I'll just do this last one, K. 2xy plus 4xy. That is the same as, now 2xy means 2 times x times y. So it's 2 times x times y plus 4 times, be careful here, 
um, they've got the x here. I'd like to write it the other way. It's, it's got to be 4 times x times y. The x is already there, so we're missing the y. Okay, now let's replace the x, substitute the x's and the y's for their values. Now, we know that x is 8. So we've got 2 times x, that's 2 times 8, times y is 2, plus 4 times y, y is 2, and x is 8. So we have to do all this first. Remember, multiplication with bod mass, multiplication and division before addition and subtraction. So we must do 2 times 8 times 2 first. That's... 2 times 8, 16 times 2 is 32, plus 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 8 is 64. So 32 plus 64 is 96. Okay, so if you can finish off that worksheet as well, that would be great. And just looking at this last page, where we're substituting with negative numbers. So substitution of negative numbers. Here, BA means b times a. Now we know that b is negative 7 and they've already put that in and a is negative 3. So it's negative 7 times negative 3. And we know that a negative times a negative is positive. So the answer is positive 21. Um, I'll just do one more. This a b divided by 21. Now a b means a times b. Now which is negative 3 is a, b is negative 7, so it's negative 3 times negative 7, divide by 21. Now negative 3 times negative 7 is positive 21, divide by 21, so that's 21 divided by 21 is 1. And just one more. I'll do this one. 3b take away a. 3b means 3 times b. And then we're taking away a. Now b is negative 7, so it's 3 times negative 7. Take away, just be very careful here, take away whatever a is, and a is negative 3. So 3 times negative 27 is negative 21. But take away negative 3 means plus 3. So negative 21, so 21 down and 3 up, is negative 18. Okay, and... I want you now, you don't have to, I mean, you can try this bottom one if you want, but if you just get up to there, to H, that's fine. Okay, and I think that's the end of that workbook, it is. Okay.